Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Marina, I'm a portrait and music photographer in Seattle. On this channel I talk all things analog and documenting my film photography adventures. Today I'm gonna show my collection of film cameras. This will be probably the tiniest uh, collection of film cameras type of videos. But to be honest, I'm very proud of that. I am not obsessed with gear. I use every single camera that I own and every time when I acquire a new piece of equipment I play around with it and if for some reason it doesn't work or I don't like it, I get rid of it. Simple as that. So let's start from my absolute favorite camera ever. This is Pentax MZ6. I call it Plastic Fantastic. This is one of the later models of SLR cameras. I think this one was produced in early 2000s. This camera has uh, different preset modes that unfortunately I'm not able to use because my lenses are manual. Yes, it is plastic. Yes, it has a bunch of electronics. Yes, I am aware once something fails inside I will have to replace the body, but at the same time these type of cameras are usually cost less than traditional fully mechanical SLRs. I have two lenses for it. The one that's attached is 28mm 2.8 and another one that I have for this camera is 50mm 1.4. This is very travel friendly, so I like it. I've been having this camera for I think about two years and I've been using it quite a lot. Moving on to the next camera that I own, this is Fujika ST701. I got this camera body for like 10 bucks a couple of years ago. It does not have light meter, that's why it was so cheap. This doesn't bother me because I have Seconic light meter or just use light meter app on my phone. For this camera I use this legendary Helios lens. I love it, it produces very nice bokeh and if you shoot against the sun uh, it does produce very nice flares which I like. And sometimes I use this lens on my digital camera. And another lens that I use with my Fujika, this is a 28mm f2.5 Vivitar lens. It's just nice wider angle lens. Now let's move on to medium format cameras. I don't know why I'm dancing while talking. Anyways, this one is Pentax 6 or 5. This is my first medium format film camera. I don't really use it as much anymore. I probably should. I think I'm too attached to this camera to get rid of it. This camera is very much often overlooked by people who are considering getting into medium format film photography. Usually people would look into Mamiya. I have nothing against Mamiya, but it became way too popular and way too overpriced because YouTube influencers and all of the things. So this camera is powered by six AA batteries. They will go into the handle. I would say the only downside of this camera is that you cannot exchange the film bags mid-roll because once it's open, it's open. There's no dark slide and anything like that, but that doesn't personally bothers me. There is a built-in light meter, the viewfinder. I don't want to say it's very bright because it's not, but it's not too dim either. I think it's just somewhere in the middle and I've done quite a few lower light shoots with this camera and the images turned out well. This viewfinder is even brighter than Pentax 6x7 has. The original one, non-MLU, because that camera has the most dim viewfinder and I've struggled a lot. Anyways, I got rid of that camera. There is also multiple exposure mode in this camera. And to be honest, a lot of times I just forget about that option and I rarely use that feature of this camera. For the lenses, this one is a standard 75 f2.8. And another lens that I've got for this camera is um, 120 f4 macro. I think I've done only a couple of shoots with this lens. I don't know why I haven't used it much. So I totally brought this camera to a metal concert once. That wasn't the smartest decision. I was curious and I've shot some pictures out of 
15 exposure roll I got one image and it made a very very good print so I will take it now let's move on to my next medium format film camera which is Hasselblad 500 cm so I've been using this camera for less than a year and I just love it I'm quite obsessed with this it's one of those situations, you know, when you hold certain thing in your hand, it makes you feel a certain way. It's what this camera does for me. Whenever I use it, I feel myself extra artsy. This sounds super dumb, but I don't know, it works. I don't even know if I should show this camera. This one is just for fun. This is Lomo Fish Eye. I call this camera film selfie camera because that's what I use it for. I like to take it uh, with me on travels and just snap selfies with it. And the last camera that I have is a Polaroid. This is the latest one uh, that has Bluetooth, uh, which is very handy for self-portraits. This camera is really fun to use, but the film is expensive, so... I rarely use it. So this was my film cameras collection. It's very small and I prefer to keep it that way. Anyways, let me know if you have any of those cameras and how do you like them. Thanks for watching this video and see you in another one.